So this is Kalayarasi from RMK College of Engineering and Technology. I am working as professor in EC department. So today we will see the subject principles of management. So under the management, we will see the first topic as introduction to management. First we will see what is management. So the definition of management is Management is defined as arts, science, and professional way of getting things done by people. So manager work is to get job from his team. So he has to get the job from his team using a strategy by using a knowledge of arts and science. In olden days, we were using only arts to find the strategies of management nowadays they are using science sometimes science with arts to plan the strategic planning next we will see the different uh, definitions given by the different authors the first definition is working with and through others it means we have to work with the team and we have to extract the job from team so that is a definition given by one of the author. The other author is uh, given a definition as achieving organizational objectives. So ultimately your goal is to achieve the organizational objectives. So according to this objective, you have to plan the strategic plan of management and you have to work and you have to extract the job from your team. The another author said the another definition as balancing effectiveness and efficiency. So whatever planning you are doing, you have to keep in your mind that effectiveness and efficiency should be there in your work or whatever outcome you are getting. So in that aspect, you have to concentrate and you have to plan your plan. Next person, he said, making the most of the limited resources that is you may be having a limited resources but you have to use it maximum and you have to get best result out of it and another person or another author said the definition as coping with the changes changing environment so whatever the environmental changes are taking place accordingly you have to plan your strategic plan then only we can able to achieve your organizational goal or otherwise we cannot able to achieve for example during a covid period we have fa faced a lot of different types of issues so having all the issues in your mind then if you are planning your strategic plan you can able to achieve your goal or otherwise it is not so the next topic is why do you need a management? So universally the management is necessary. So if you see the organization, you are having a different organizations in any industry or anything if you take. So if you see the different type, so you will be having different sizes of organization, then different types of organization, then different levels of organization and Finally, the different areas of organization. So when you are saying different sizes of organization, you will be having a small organization, medium organization, large organization. That is small scale organization, medium scale organization and large scale organization. And if you see the type of organization, the organization from where are you getting a profit or not? Accordingly, it is classified. So in that way, if you see the organization which is having a profit, it is a profitable organization and other type of organization is called as a not for profit organization. So from this organization, we will can, cannot expect the profit. Even if we get a profit, that will be again given to the organization for further development. And different levels of organization means you are having three levels of organization. One is top level organization, next bottom level organization, then middle level organization. So depending upon 
you are hierarchy you will be having this three levels of organization so generally the instructions are from top to bottom that is from top it will come to the middle level then it will go to the bottom level of organization then if you see the different areas of organization so in any organization you will be having a manufacturing marketing human resource accounting and information systems etc so this is uh, with respect to in the core industry similarly in other industry you will be having a different areas of organization so according to the area you have to have your management to organize the things in a proper manner so these are the different uh, types of organization different levels of organization and the different sizes of organization and different areas of organization so in all these areas it is necessary to have a management then only you can run the show smoothly so next if you see the management as i already told in the definition management is an art and also as a science so when you are saying it is an art you can say that it is based on practice and creativity and when you are saying it as a science it is based on experimentation and when you are saying it as an art it is a theoretical body of knowledge and when you are saying it as a science it is a systemized body of knowledge and when you are saying it as an art has personalized application and when you are saying it as a science it is a universal application so when you are using an science in your management so you will be following the strategies rules and regulation planning according to the universal norms so this is common uh, commonly used universally so then only you can use the science or if it is for a small company means you can use the personalized application so anyway present day we are using the combination of science and arts to implement our management strategies so with this we will complete this uh, presentation and remaining we will see it in the next video thank you thank you all